Now we'll discuss the different types of tensioners that we have on the Lexion 700 series combine. We're on the left side of the machine here and we're going to discuss the tensioner for the impeller drive system. Here we have what we call a tip to tip type of tensioner. We have our spring tensioner for the belt and we have our red indicators joining at the tips of the indicators. This will give the the spring tension, the proper tension when these are tip to tip. To adjust, we have the two nuts on the back side here. The one furthest away from the spring is the locking nut. This needs to be loosened first, then we can adjust the spring tension with the nut closest to the spring as needed. Once we're done with all that, we can lock the nut to the inside nut and then we should be at the proper tension. To detension, if needed, to, for belt removal, we can take an M12 flange nut and thread it on the base of the tensioning device. If we take a closer look at our tensioning device, you can see that our nuts ran down on our spring and that has detensioned the belt for easier removal. We're on the right side of the machine here and we're going to look at the clean system fan drive. You can see here this style of tensioner is what we call an overlapping tensioner. We have our indicator tabs on both sides of the spring that overlap each other. Now, if this tensioner is out of adjustment, to adjust, we have a nut that's furthest away from the spring called our locking nut, and we can back this off. And then we have a nut that's closest to the spring that we can adjust the tension as needed. I'm on the left side of the machine here, and we're going to talk about the clean system drive. This one has a different style of tensioner here. As you can see, we have our black spring here, and then we have an indicator tab underneath. The proper tension for this drive system is when this washer here is even with this steel indicator. To adjust tension, we have the locking nut furthest away from the spring, and then we have an adjusting nut. We would back that locking nut off first, and then we can adjust the tension of the spring accordingly. But the one thing that we have to remember about this one is we have a pulley over here that's bolted to the side of the machine. We have to loosen this pulley before we can adjust the tension on this spring. 